What up, YouTube? How we doing, guys? And there's mornings you just don't want to wake up. Today is one of them. It is currently 9, 12 a.m. Oh, I just had the most epic of sleep. Oh. <laughs> Let's do it. So I went to Urban Surf on Monday, which is a man-made wave pool. It's currently Thursday for context. I'll put a clip up here. Woo! <laughs> and came back from that on Monday and it was a hot day. I think I got like sunstroke or something, whatever it was, I just did not want to be in the sun after having gone, and that was on Monday. Ever since then, Tuesday, Wednesday, then now Thursday, I've been just like, it feels like I've potentially been off with the fairies for all of those days. No motivation, haven't wanted to work, I've had heaps of work to do. I've wanted to do absolutely nothing. I haven't wanted to work out once. Everyone gets in these ruts, don't they? It's such a natural part of life the ups and the downs. My personal plan to get out of it is structure, exercise, and friends and people around me that can help pull me out. Structure, I'm gonna get home and make myself start work at 10 a.m. pretty much on the dot after a workout and a swim. So that ticks the second box, exercise. And then the third box is friends, family, um, girlfriend that I can talk to about it and I can get them to help either directly or indirectly pull me out through conversation or inviting me to like things to do, to dinners, to anything like that. Um, so I'm very confident it's gonna be really short lived and today's gonna be the first day back feeling productive and energized. For the workout itself, we're gonna model it off Tio's world. If anyone knows him, shout out to Tears World. So yeah, I'm stealing my kettlebell workout session off of him. I'll chuck it up on the screen, what I end up doing. Um, I don't think it's gonna be a very long one because I've got to run back to the house. And I kind of want to swim now that I'm down here. So let's do it. much better now. Decent workout, probably like 20-30 minutes of it. 
mate came and interrupted me. <laughs> he came and um, flashed the camera. But I had to like blur it out or cut it out. <laughs> I'm glad I swam. I'm glad I worked out. Glad I got out of bed this morning. There's a three key things to getting over a rut, I think. So I walked past and I had to 180 to come smell these guys. They actually smell amazing. You can smell them from like on the street around the corner nearly. <laughs> I walked past and was like, wow, they smell good. I had to do a little 180. Sniff them with you guys. <laughs> So I just deleted that brekkie off the face of the earth. It is meeting time now. I've got three minutes till my first one. Hi. Hello, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. Done. Big first meeting of the day. I personally need um, a little quick break from it. So I got something really fun that I want to do with you guys. I want to go through all of the stuff that I've got coming up, which is working with companies, gifting with companies, just like PR deliveries, all that kind of stuff. Um, let's do it together. I'm going to show you guys what I got. For those of you that have been watching my vids, I am starting a clothing company. It's one of my side hustles and projects. This is iteration number two of sampling and like trying to get the right design and everything. This here, iterize, iter iteration number one, which I think as I'm like wearing them and like I think this size fit everything is my favorite. It's a bit slimmer um, and a bit lighter, which I kind of am loving, which I funnily enough didn't love at the start. Anyway, that's like side, on the side going on, we've got plenty. We got Gymshark, which um, they've sent them socks, shorts, and t-shirts. So that's the leftover from their little package delivery. We got these bags that I showed you guys quickly in the last video from Dagny Dover. They're really cool. There's that one. There's backpack, which is sick. And a carry-on suitcase. Man, rain essence. Pretty cool. For myself, myself, myself. Damn. These are sick. These are from um, Fifth and Set. It's a cool, sort of loose fitting um, white tee. I really like the green writing on that. It's really nice. Um, we've got a green sweater to go over the top of that to go with. Sick. And then a hat as well, matching hat. That's cool how they all match. That's honestly like 90% of an outfit already. We got Bondi Pure drinking them every single day. Blood orange. Ooh, blood orange. <laughs> they are unreal. Uh, now we've got Magic Mind. So, wow. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> I like the little waves on the side. Sharper mind, less stress, calm energy, and more vitality. Sweet. Reclaim your brain. How cool. Keen to work with them. Also, my amazing boss, or like, you know, the CEO of Zinc, which is my American agency. She has also written a book. Samantha Zinc, Delusional <laughs> Confessions from One Intern's Rise to CEO. How cool. So she's actually sent me a copy, which I'm 100% gonna read. 
Hunter is in here helping me out. Hey, little guy. Hey. Something I can show you guys and talk to you guys about is I'm doing an event. Sorry, not an event. I'm going, I'm going interstate. I'm going to Perth, Western Australia. I'll show you guys here. With my girlfriend, Ali, through a good friend of hers, got in touch with me after we met on a walk, the three of us, and she was like, I put you forward. We're doing an influencer program where we're taking a bunch of influencers out to Western Australia as part of Turo, so T-U-R-O, a car hire company. And we're doing like a road trip from Perth down to Margaret River. You guys are coming over. We're doing like, like a whole um, a whole trip out of it. We're going in a month's time, so at the end of November. And they sent the car select over yesterday. And look at the one that I've just chosen. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> this is what we're gonna be rolling around to Western Australia in. <laughs> This is gonna be so much fun. It's gonna be four days of road tripping and adventuring and going on different like activities. You guys are gonna come along with. It's gonna be so much fun. So now let's make some delicious, healthy lunch together. Okay guys, it's 11 minutes past three. Got a good amount of work done. Got a good amount to go still. I'm gonna go on run number two. So something I have thought about recently, which I started off as being so anti-running for whatever reason, and now I'm not anti-running anymore. But I'm not as committed as some. So what I was thinking about is that one day I'm not gonna be able to run. One day I was in my head, I was like, imagine you woke up and you could not run, you could not swim, you could not do a beach workout, you could not go for a long walk with your friends. It, the answer was just no, you couldn't do any of that. And it really makes me, I don't know, add another layer of appreciation to being young and healthy enough currently to do that. Because one day, genuinely won't be able to. It's just an interesting take on it, spin on it. And for me personally, I find that train of thought fairly motivating. Finally, we're at the pretty part of the run. The golf course isn't blocked off. Beautiful. It's definitely getting harder now, guys. Right at the end. Woo! Back at the sun. And we're done. Woo. Back down at the beach. Okay. Welcome back guys. It is currently 8.04 p.m. We're grinding in edit mode, absolutely grinding, but we're gonna interrupt it because it's now nighttime, as you can see. So it's time to shoot content. We're done. <laughs> this is the fit. I've done my hair, jewelry on. See the aftermath. <laughs> So as you know, it was to shoot for Bulgari, um, which is here. Then we've got cleaning stuff for the mirrors to get them beautiful and clean. Tripod set up, 
um, shaving foam. This is the one I use. It's like organic lavender. It is crazy. It has like all these religious, like crazy religious sayings on the side of the thing. It spills everywhere. I got my toothbrush and toothpaste out because I'm brushing my teeth is in it. I had to like buzz my mo, or oh, there's nothing there now, but I had to buzz this out beforehand because I didn't want to shave it and like rip the hairs out. My roommate's wax. Ooh, I'm just making it more messy. And then all the other stuff spilt. Shaving um, balm or shaving um, whatever, shaving soap they call it everywhere. Chaos. And then I just sat here and edited the video on CapCut. It's already up right now. You guys can check it out if you want. That is gonna do me for today's vlog. Thank you for watching guys. It's epic as always. We'll say goodbye from cat one, <laughs> sleepy boy, cat two, sitting at the window, looking at the big wide world. Hey. All right, good night guys. Thanks for watching. See you guys very soon for the next one. Thanks for all the love and support as always. Bye, bye, bye.